This is how to get images from your iPad or iPhone onto your Windows based PC. The first thing to do is connect your iPad or iPhone via your USB cable. Now depending on how you've got Windows and iTunes set up a couple of things might happen. As you can see iTunes may open up and what also should happen is an autoplay dialog for Windows will pop up which is that. Now first things first I find it really annoying that iTunes automatically opens up when I plug in my iPad and it's very easy to change that. All you need to do is wait for it to finish its annoying sync up. Now that iTunes has finished syncing you can click on your iTunes, click on your iPad under devices and deselect open iTunes when this iPad is connected. Then click apply and it's done. Now you can close that down. Now we'll close this down as well and just reconnect the iPad to show you what I mean. Now when the iPad is reconnected Windows will come up with the autoplay dialog but iTunes won't open up. Now when this dialog is up you have a few options. You can use Windows to import pictures and videos itself. Personally I would always rather do it manually so click on open device to view files then select internal storage, DCIM folder, then there'll be another folder with a random collection of letters and numbers. If you open up that you'll find all the photos that you've taken or saved on your iPad inside and you can just create a folder on your desktop or wherever you would like and just select them and either copy across or drag across, drag and drop and it will copy them from the iPad into your folder. Now if you plug in your iPad and the autoplay dialog box doesn't open all you need to do is go to my computer. If you haven't got a desktop icon for my computer if you click on the start menu computer this is running Windows 7 it'll be similar under Windows XP and if you're unfortunate enough to be running Windows Vista God help you and there's your device under Apple iPad portable devices. You click on that and you've got your internal storage and just drill down through the folders until you get into here and then just as before copy and paste. Job done.